Hey guys, today we're going to take a uh, look at another one of my new 2018 389 Peterbilts. This is a uh, lot like most of the trucks that I've put together in the past. Again, the only big change for 18 is that uh, under the hood, the new Cummins X15, which we'll, uh, we'll take a look at it here in just a second. 280 inch wheelbase on this one. Alcoa level one wheels all the way around. I always pick the, the level ones over the Durb rights for my, for my stock truck inventory. Uh, just because a, a level one you can polish and make it look better than a Durb right, in my opinion. Three axle disc brakes, 40,000 pound rears. 13.2 front axle. Low Pro 24 rubber. 336 rear ends. Again with the uh, disc brakes. Uh, very common to see them go 700,000 or more before swapping out pads. Uh, if you take care of them, you'll probably never put rotors on it. very very wise investment uh, it's great for resale the stopping power is unbelievable DOT uh, not much for them to look at they just look back and see a clean rotor and and some pad and they roll on 30 inch Hodge built quarter fenders nice deep drop polished toolbox toolboxes on frame mounted on both sides Six lights mounted in the back of the sleeper. Chrome stick. Holding the air and electric lines. Uh, chose the straight lines on this one. Dual seven ways. Uh, if, if anything I've got, if you want the curly lines or vice versa, I can swap those out. It's no big deal. Locking fuel caps. Best seventeen dollars you can spend if you're a truck. Polish tanks. Straps. All sealed connectors on the light kit. Uh, you're not going to find a, a butt connector, tape to wire that all LED and this is the new Phoenix the smoke lenses uh, they're amber at night uh, or amber when they're they're lit up but the new smoke lenses did them there front and back of the air cleaner also polished def tank cover Polished exhaust all the way up. It's got the seven inch miter cuts. Again, seven inch being the, the largest you can get from the factory. It's got a big battery disconnect. Flip that switch and it kills the power to the whole truck. You can see the little holes in it. You can, you can put a lock in it if it's gonna be parked for extended periods of time. <clears throat> I know truck theft in Southern Florida has been huge lately. Had a couple customers lose rides. Polished air tanks. I've got four batteries in that box. Uh, most guys, most dealers will put three in there. I, for Again, for not much money at all. Uh, we go ahead and put the fourth one in there. Premium air cleaners. There's two different versions of this air cleaner. This is the, the more expensive uh, premium version. Power stainless mirrors um, even the spots are heated see the black piece there on the top rail that's uh, uh, for your XM and your satellite Did a, a 12 inch drop visor seven custom roof lights there five is all you can get from the factory so we add two more 
color of this truck is legendary red. Uh, like all my other legendary colors, lots of flake in it. Just really gorgeous. Uh, fairly close to the Peterbilt red in the emblem. But you can see on the leading edges all the, uh, I'm not gonna call it gold, but it's a, uh, just looks like some different Maybe a lighter red flake in it. Gorgeous for sure. Of course, all the wheels have the Peterbilt oval holes. 18 inch Texas bumper. Polished headlights, polished surround. There's a removable bug screen behind the grill between the radiator. been looking at these trucks for a while you'll notice one of the visual differences is this piece that sticks out here um, I'm not a real big fan of how that looks I imagine somebody's gonna make a stainless polish panel a little bolt right here and kind of square that up and make it look nice but the, the entire step has changed uh, see the top of the steps different and then the gap between the bottom of the cab and the step has changed. And that has created, if you watch my other videos, I'll open the door and you'll see the reflection here of, of a light that's mounted under here. And it's a lighted entry step. Well, uh, there's not enough clearance there or not, not enough tolerance to keep the engineers happy. So they've currently, that option is not available. Hundred and ten gallon on the driver's side, hundred and fifty on the passenger. Holland FW thirty five fifth wheel um, with a nice slide on it. Talking about this DPF filter, if you're familiar, you will see how different it is. It is it is quite a bit smaller, um, and, and the scheduled cleaning now for the filter is somewhere between four to six hundred thousand, which is going to be pretty amazing. That's a it's only twice a million. That's going to be really nice. There's that X15. <clears throat> it's just the ISX with some changes. We'll discuss that in another video. Um, one of the biggest changes is the turbo. It's changed and it's turned. Uh, uh, it's put another hundred foot-pounds of braking power on the on the engine brake, and then uh, with that also came. Uh, different horsepower ratings just because it's making more power so uh, five, 550 doesn't exist anymore this is a 565 which nobody's going to complain about that heated fuel filter water separator uh, arctic fu arctic rat fuel lines all the way around uh, i've got the extra insulation package in it uh, sleeper floor walls cab everywhere out of those front disc brakes. Uh, air compressor is larger and there's also an option for an even bigger air compressor. So uh, if you like a, a rapid fill, uh, there, there, there is an option for a bigger compressor. I'm still doing the pre-wired fog lights. So if you want to mount something down there, everything's already wired in.
Still doing the platinum interior. Something I haven't showed you guys in a while. When you open the door, there's a stop and you can see the gap's kind of thin. But there's actually a stop in there <clears throat> and it'll crack over and the door opens up nicer. The, the point of the door stop is so the wind doesn't grab the door and fling it into the air cleaner. So uh, it's got stops on both, both doors. Something I was super sad to see go. No more brass tag where the stamped weight was. Um, I guess we want to uh, follow the Kenworth boys in that department. Um, and all your information is now on a tag in the door. So, in the uh, there it is right there. This is where your stamped weight is now. Key this entry, uh, fuel locks, toolbox locks, <clears throat> all that stuff. Like a rear real Peterbilt should full rosewood dash black leather Sears Atlas seats these are the 80 series they offer two different ones 70 and 80 these are the 80s full gauge package all bright bezel gauges uh, including the six virtual gauges there's a total of 23 factory CV another one of those little areas that's gonna have a nice factory connection you're not gonna have any stripped wires or anything like that see the overhead storage you recognize the tweeter next to that 5x7 it's uh, that, that's how you know it's premium sound got the best sound system in it we can get from the factory um, and also on this side there's the uh, standalone speaker for the CB. And then up here on the A pillar microphone, that's what picks up <clears throat> all your Bluetooth phone and stuff when you're talking. That's what that's what picks you up. It's got the Sahara tan interior with a black carpet, black seats. I know on the video it comes across kind of gray, but. <clears throat> it is tan. Premium mattress. All the extra cabinets. Uh, a lot of dealers will just do the cabinets here on the end. I like to do the full cabinet package. It's never seen a sleeper with too much storage. There's the uh, business center in the passenger side closet. Slide out this top, great place to put your laptop. And below that it's got boxes for your, you can do hanging folders. Um, obviously you can do whatever you want, but those will accommodate hanging folders. Control panel from the sleeper, heat and air, all that good stuff. Of course there's your refrigerator. And just a, a hanging clothes closet. There's a tour of another one of my new 2018s. I've got 15 to 20 of these on the ground uh, in stand ups, flat tops, you know, uh, multiple wheelbases. Uh, I'm having a tough time. We're fortunate enough to be very busy right now, having a tough time getting them all rigged out, cleaned up and uh, ready for photos and videos but I'll keep them coming as as we get them ready as always you can reach me anytime call or text 918-808-5638 we've got financing questions trade questions um, if you need to discuss options or need a code or just struggling with anything I've been doing this a long long time um, um, not much 
you can throw at me that I can't help you with. So I uh, would love the, love the opportunity to earn your business. Again, that's 918-808-5638. Call me anytime. Check out my Facebook page, Peterbilt Steve. Uh, subscribe to this page. Uh, keep up with the new videos as they come. And I appreciate all the support. And uh, we'll do some more videos here real soon. Thanks, guys.